We are only out here for our people. That's right. right. We don't care about the other nations, and we say that boldly. Right. We're here to reunite our people together. Right. That's right. We're here to gather together with our own people. Give me Mal uh, Malachi 2 and 7. Bring it up. Because he was bringing out the truth to you to show you that these scriptures is the knowledge. But what is the knowledge that we're supposed to know? Because the pastors say they have the knowledge in the church, right? Right. But what, they, what the pastor is supposed to be teaching you in the church? You've been to church before? Never been to church? Y'all been to church before? You've been to church? What they supposed to be teaching you in the church? You have absolutely no clue. And that's their job. Their job is for you to have absolutely no clue what they're teaching you. Right. All they want is your money. Right. They don't care about you. They don't care about what you got going on at home. Right. They don't care that you live in the worst conditions of society. Right. But you're looking at men that care about their people. Right. Right. That's why we don't care to travel anywhere where our people is at. Right. We gonna go where our people at, thus saith the Lord. Right. To raise up young prophets of you men. To raise up sisters to show y'all it's a better way. Right. Let's see what they're supposed to be teaching you in the church. Read. The book of Malachi, chapter 2. Verse 7. Bring it out. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The pastor's lips, the priest's lips should keep knowledge. That's his job as a priest. Right. He's supposed to be watching for your soul. Right. But yet, he's teaching you pay your money, tithe. Pay right. what you got. Sow a seed. It don't matter if your lights go off. Right. Just sow your seed. Bring it out. Meanwhile, he's driving the fanciest cars. Meanwhile, you just watch your grandmother get her lights cut off. But she's a faithful tithing uh, payer. Right. She pays her tithes faithfully and her lights get cut off. Right. That's what your priest is doing. But they're supposed to be teaching you the laws of God. Right. Read it again. The book of Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The priest's supposed to have answers to the problems of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. That's right. They're supposed to be the ones giving goddess. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. They should seek what? The law at his mouth. Your pastor's supposed to be teaching you God's laws. Right. But they don't teach you God's laws. Right. They do not care about you. Right. They just want your money. Right. They just want to get rich. Teach. But the knowledge of the Bible is God's laws. That's right. right. Because guess what? If I knew that the true image of Christ, right? If I knew that y'all look like Jesus Christ according to the Bible, how do you think I would treat you if I knew you were, you look like Jesus Christ? Young man in a red shirt. What's your name? Jerry. Jerry? How do you think I would treat you if I knew you look like Christ? If I knew you was Christ's brother, for example, Jesus Christ, greatest man walk on the face of the earth, how would I treat you? Say it again. Goodly? You say goodly? Right, I'd teach you with respect, right? I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't shoot you down in the streets, right? Bring it out. I wouldn't want to sell drugs to you, right? Bring it out. I wouldn't leave you in a house to fend for yourself knowing that a mother cannot raise their own house by herself. Right. You know? Because guess what? Majority of us out here probably didn't come from a home with both parents in it. Right. Do you have both parents in a home? You got, you got both parents in a home? You got both parents in a home? You don't have both parents in a home, so you know what I'm talking about. Right. This is a common thing in our community. Right. Right. We are the pastors telling our men to be better fathers. Right. You know? We are the pastors telling our women to stop dressing like whores. Right. Right. No, they'll tell you about money, but they won't tell you how to better yourself. And guess what? Y'all not looking at any men up here. Y'all looking at fathers? Y'all looking at brothers? And guess what? We looking at our children. Right. We see y'all as our children when we come out here and teach. Right. Because we don't want no harm to come to you. The brother over there, is that true? Do you see that a lot in our communities? Why is that? What's the problem, brother? Imprisonment, man. You said imprisonment? Yeah. Thank what happens? Why, do, why are we in prison? Trying to sell drugs and the, the Give me Jose 4-1. Huh? So you said trying to sell drugs, what else? And, man, irresponsibility. Right. Give me actually give me Psalms 94 and 16. So you know that, right? You yeah. know the condition with our people, right? You're a father too, exactly. You would hate to have for that to happen to your children, right? You would hate to see that happen to them, right? So now the question is, what are you gonna do about it? Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. It's okay you say you don't know. I'm okay with that. I'm 100% perfect with you saying I don't know. Because guess what? We're going to give you the answer to show you what you're supposed to be doing. Right. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. So you know, what's you know what's happening in society. You see it. But you said, I don't know what to do. But guess what? The prophets of God are going to show you exactly what you need to be doing. Right. Read. Who will rise up for me? So God is asking you, who's going to rise up for his people? Yeah. Who's going to stand up for his children? Church. Who's going to stand up for his household? Right. Read it again. Who will rise up for me? Who's going to rise up for the justice? Who's going to rise up for God? Read. 
against the evildoers. Against the evildoers. Against the drugs in our community. Against prostitution. Right. Against gang violence. Jeez. Against uh, violence from the cops. Right. Who's going to stand up and rise up and say that it's wrong? Yep. And rise up and bring our people out there in low condition. Read. Right. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who's going to stand up against the workers of iniquity? When are our black men going to wake up and realize that they are the leaders of society? That's That's right. Right. And until you get right, these young men and these sisters will not get right. Because right. right. they're looking at you. If you okay with it, guess what? They're going to be okay with it. Right. If they know the issues is there and they don't do nothing, they're going to look at you and say, well, he know too. He a grown man. He been here 20, 30, 40 years. He know what's going on in society, but he's not doing nothing, so I'm not going to do anything. Right. But the issue is that we don't know what to do. But guess what? You're going to learn that the Bible gives you exact guidance of what to do for your people. Right. That's right. The Bible tells you what you are supposed to do to set your people free. Right. Which is keep God's commandments. That's Give me 1 right. Kings 2. Because we have a lot of men, so-called men, in the communities. But how does God describe you as a man? How are you considered a man with God? Read that. The book of 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 1. Read out. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. And he charged Solomon, his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. So you hearing a father speak to children. Because he wasn't only speaking to his son. He was speaking to the multitude of children. He's still speaking to us today. Right. right. Showing us what we're supposed to be doing. Read. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. We have to show ourselves a man. Right. Not a boy, a little boy with no guidance. Right. Not a grown man, 40, 50 years, trying to still stay young. Right. We need righteous examples in society so our people can get out of the conditions that they're in. Right. Read. And keep the charge of the Lord. How do you keep the charge of the Lord, young men walking by? How do you follow what God say? Are y'all setting an example to these young men? Because y'all see, I know y'all got some kind of wisdom, right? What's going on in the communities? I'm going to ask y'all. What's, what's going on today? What's going on in the world? What's the problem with our people? What's your name, brother? Kayvante Jax. Kayvante? I am Uzziah. What's, what's wrong with our people, man? Uh, basically, we, we're going against each other instead of working together nowadays. You said we're going against each other instead of working together, right? right. We divide it. Predominantly, when stuff happens in our society, what times of the week do it normally happen? You know, when do we normally jump into the most wickedness? When do we go in the club? When do we go in, uh, to hang out? Friday. Friday night, the weekend, right? It starts Friday night all the way to Saturday night. And there's a reason for that. Your oppressors have it set up that way for a reason. He told you that the Sabbath day is Sunday for a purpose. But the Bible don't say that. Let's see what the Bible says. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember. remember the Sabbath day. So God says, remember the Sabbath day, because it's going to come to a point where it's going to be taken from you, and you're not going to remember it. You're going to have to read the Bible to get understanding of it again, right. of what the Sabbath day is. Read. To keep it holy. To keep it holy, man. You're supposed to keep this day separate from any other day. Right. right. Read. Six days shall thy labor. And do all thy work. Six days you're supposed to do all your work. Now, if you look at your calendar, right, on your phone, right, you'll see what the first day is, and you'll see what the last day is. What's the first day on your calendar on the phone? What's the first day? What's the first day of the week? Say it again. Say Sunday, right? Sunday, right, family? Sunday is the first day of the week. Is that hard to understand? But why do we call the seventh day Sunday when it's the first day? Preach. Read it again. Hey, brother, uh, giving everybody a high five. Did you know the truth is in the Bible? Okay, you sure? Yeah. So what's today? You didn't know the truth. So you should stick right around. If you didn't know what today is, you should stand right here and listen. She said the Sabbath day. That's excellent. That's absolutely correct, sis. Today is the Sabbath day of the Lord. Read. But the seventh day is the seventh day of the Lord thy God. So this is the Sabbath day. This is a special day God set aside for us to keep his commandments. Right. We are supposed to be doing certain things on this day. Read. In it, thou shalt not do any work. You're not supposed to be working on a Sabbath day. That's Friday night sundown to Saturday sundown. Right. Teach. And guess what? We just said that most of the crimes happen with our people from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That's right. That's, right. That's why your oppressors changed the Sabbath day from Saturday to Sunday. Right. Right. Because he gave us a free day in slavery. 
saying that this is the day that we, we don't have to uh, worry about certain things and oppression. This is the day that we can take rest. But God gave you a day of rest, which is Saturday. Right. That's, right. That's the Sabbath day according to God. Read. Right. In it, thou shalt not do any work. We're not supposed to work. Read. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant. So nobody is supposed to be caught working on the Sabbath day. That's right. a sin according to God. Now the officer asked you about the drink, right? Because you bought the drink. So are we supposed to be buying and selling on a Sabbath day? You say no? Y'all sisters, you said no? Let's see what the Bible says. Give me that Nehemiah. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. Bring it out. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals. So if you got people bringing any wear or victuals, they have products to sell. If anybody is bringing you products to sell on the Sabbath day, or if you go to any products to sell on the Sabbath day, read. On the Sabbath day to sell, that we will not buy of it. That we wouldn't do what? Buy of it. We will not buy of it on the Sabbath day. Right. Yes. We're not supposed to be buying or cooking or working on the Sabbath day. We're going right. to get that too. Read. Of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. And Read. That, and that we will leave the seven year and the exaction of every day. So we got to be keeping the commandments of God. We're not supposed to be buying and selling on the Sabbath day. Right. This is a holy day to God. Right. We're supposed to be gathering together with our people, going over the law, statutes, and commandments of God. Right. And we're supposed to go out and teach our people, just like you're seeing us do it today, on the Sabbath day. Right. They've never taught you that in the church. Right. I can guarantee it. They've read this in the church and never told you about it. Bring it up. They've read this before, over and over and over again, and never told you what the Sabbath day is. Now let's see about cooking. Let's see what we're supposed to cook on the Sabbath day. Let's see what we're supposed to cook on the Sabbath day. Give me that. The book of Mike said it's chapter 16, verse 20. Y'all pay attention. Whatever they're doing, what if the brother pulled him away, that's his choice. Read it again. The book of Mike said it's chapter 16, verse 23. Y'all make sure y'all read that flyer, family. Make sure you read that flyer. Read. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So there's a preparation for the Sabbath day when it's coming in. Because we know we still got to eat, we still got to drink, we still got things we got to do, but we got six days in order to set that up. Right. Six days to prepare for the Sabbath day, right. to get your food ready, right. to make sure you have funds. But on Sabbath day, you make sure you set that aside for God. Right. Read. Bake that which ye will bake today, and see that ye will see, and that which remaining over lay up for you to be kept. So there has to be a preparation for the Sabbath day. But we also supposed to gather together, hey. right? We have to gather together as a people. Right. Why do we not gather together as our own people? Why, why do we do that? You say everybody don't believe in coming together. Family, what y'all say? Why do we not gather together with our own people? Why do we not? Why do we don't gather together? It's because of hatred, right? All those words fall into us not uh, not being desired by anybody. Nobody wants to be around the blacks. Nobody wants to be around the Hispanics right. because we're in the bottom of society. Right. Right. They want to keep us separate from everything on the face of this earth. Right. But God says y'all the greatest thing on the face of the earth. Right. And guess what? Everybody I see out here in purple and gold, we want to be right where our people are at. Right. That's, right. That's the only place we want to be. Right. We don't want to be around these other nations. Right. So we got to gather together on the Sabbath day. Read that. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Bring it out. out. Gather yourselves together. It says gather yourselves together. Not gather with everybody else. Right. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, gather with your own people. That's right. So you can be taught the truth. So you can be given better examples of society. And not be spit on. Not be shot down. Not be sold drug, so right. uh, have drugs sold to you. Right. You got to gather with your own people in righteousness. Read. Gather yourselves together. Gather yourselves together, brother in the brown shirt. We got to gather with our people. But today we see ourselves as niggas. Right. Oh, there's some niggas out here in purple teaching. Right. It's just some Negroes out here in purple teaching. That's it. We've been on this earth 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, never seen men teaching on the streets. Right. But when we come out to teach our people, they all oh, let's just go ahead and do what we got to do. Right. But guess what? We're not looking for everybody. We're looking, out, we're looking for a few. Just these few people right here knows that we are in here in the spirit of God. We're right. teaching in the spirit of God. That's just right. by y'all standing right here. Read. Yeah, they gather together. Oh, nation not desired. That's why we don't gather together, because we are not desired. We are not desired by any nation. Right. They look at us as the bottom of society. Right. But what does God say? Give me Psalms 82. Bring it up. What does God say? Are we the bottom? You said something earlier. You said, what are we? 
I said we are one. You said we are one? You said something else. You said we not niggas with something else. Oh, I'm a king. king. You kings, right? King and queen. We're supposed to be kings on the earth, right? You know Let's doing. see what happened. Give me that. Psalms 82, 6. The book of Psalms, chapter 82, Bring verse it 6. Up. Bring it up. I am saying, ye are gods. Wait a minute. The Bible said what to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Read. Ye are gods. No, you're a Negro. Ye are gods. No, you a spick. Ye are gods. A porch monkey. Ye are gods. The Bible says blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are gods on this yeah. earth. Yeah. You're a god according to the Bible. And nobody should be able to refute that. As in the no God. You're a God according to the Bible. Right. As in the no God, you got no sin. And all of you are children of the Most High. All of us are children of God. Right. But what happened? Read. But ye shall die like men. But we dying like men in society. Right. We have come out of our state as being kings, as being rulers on the earth. But today we're here to teach you the truth. Right. Today we are here to show you that you're a God walking the earth. Right. And you have to come back into the form of being a God and being a king. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.